afternoon. This is video update for Buy Sell Short for Tuesday, February 19th. Back from a nice long weekend, so uh, ready to rock and roll. And let's jump right into it. Market upward bias today. Of course, the headlines saying, you know, new highs, multi-year highs in the major indices. But, you know, it was another one of those really kind of lackluster days. Everyone sort of tentatively trading things, uh, some of the large caps getting most of the attention and most traders just waiting for the floor to fall out of this market and the floor just never seems to fall out from underneath this market. Uh, we had the conclusion of the G7 meeting this week and essentially the thing that came from it was we had everyone talking about the currency wars that are ongoing between all the industrialized nations and essentially what came out of this week, our meeting this weekend and was actually pumped by the IMF as well is that they are continuing or going to continue to pump liquidity into the system and that of course is a good thing for stocks uh, so we had an upward bias today one thing we really need to keep an eye on though is the sequester the large government cuts that are set to take effect in what is it, nine days, a week and a half, unless some sort of deal is made, which at the moment seems extremely unlikely. Although a deal on, you know, the debt ceiling before seemed extremely unlikely in December and the market was able to actually rally up into it and they actually came to a compromise. So we could see one of two things happen. We could get some very bad news from DC and the market just gets the rug pulled out from underneath it. Or... We see more of the same with the kind of back and forth chatter that we're seeing between the parties right now and the market expecting a deal to get done. And we took up to the March 1st deadline and if there's a no deal then we might see the market actually sell off. As you can see we are trying to break out of that trading channel that has been in place really for the last four weeks. You see a better picture of that on the Dow daily chart. Now what is supportive of this on the Dow daily chart for a breakout through is that RSI was able to come back down and consolidate, you know, work off some of its extreme overbought conditions over the last couple of weeks and is itching to go higher. So what will be the level that sets us free? You know, it's really hard to say. It could be 14100 or it might take the all-time highs and the 14300s really to bring all this money that is sitting on the sidelines into the market. Russell has continued to be very, very strong. And it actually did a, a decent sized move for it today, breaking upward again. But it's just, just been slow and steady, everyday increase on the small cap stocks. And we actually saw a positive MACD cross on the Russell today, which is kind of bullish. But the, the micro cap stocks still really sleeping. And that's more of most traders taking a hit and run approach on a lot of these stocks but you know if we do get a continuation upside move here or if we get some sort of deal regarding the budget cuts we could see a nice little run into the summer on the market one thing however to keep an eye on uh, we went over this a little while ago bullish nasdaq bullish percent index essentially what this reads is extreme pessimism and extreme optimism in the stock market and we are approaching the levels where we really need to pay attention. Up here in the mid to upper 60s to 70 plus areas where you really start to pay attention. Last summer, or not last summer, last February, this is exactly where we topped out on the bullish percent index and on the market uh, for quite a few months. So we need to pay very close attention to that in the near term. Anyway, let us jump into some stock plays. RNN. We actually had some decent news from these guys today. They gave an update on their pipeline. It was optimistic. They broke out the drugs that are in process, you know, partnership with Tiva, what they're going to do. But the volume just wasn't there. Like, it has not been there for a lot of stocks over the last few days. And for some reason, this one ticked down. Now, it may be falling into that pattern that we identified before where we have a big pop. We go down one, two, you know, three, four days, boom. So here we are on one, two, you know, day four, day five now on this consolidation after the recent pop, all the way back to the 20-day exponential, RSI down to the 50 level. So it's about time for get one of those uh, nice little snapback pops. And what actually might do it is NVGN. This stock was up, look at this, up 300% today on some article regarding one of its uh, ovarian cancer trials 
in Australia. It wasn't even published here in the U.S. Stock went boom. RNN does ovarian cancer. So this one continues to run tomorrow. We should see some nice action in this one. And in another one that we jumped into in the chat room, TELK, they have a phase two ovarian cancer drug. We got some nice follow through from 168, 170 ads in the chat room. Closed uh, 180 plus and has its eyes on a move to the 200 day moving average. You know, this one, especially if NVGN breaks out tomorrow, these guys have news. Could see some very, very nice upside. I mean, look what this stock can do when it gets uh, the mojo, the volume, or news. We also saw a positive MACD cross on this stock today, and that corresponded the last time with a massive pop in the stock. Actually, it's happened the last two times. We've seen some very sizable upside moves on a positive MACD cross today, and unbalanced volume and stochastics look great for a continuation move on this one with very strong support at a buck sixty. Not so nice looking charts. CRME just out of the blue today. Whoop, down she goes, uh, fifteen percent. No news out there. We're actually seeing this happen a lot on some of the under $1 stocks where they just pull the rug out. CPRX was another one that did it over the last couple of days. TZYM. So a lot of these uh, micro stocks getting a little bit of reset in them. But these stocks, every time they've done retrace moves like this after big moves, they've seen some very nice bounce backs in price. So I'd be looking for a bounce back at least to the 20-day exponential at 45 cents. Uh, you know, that's what, 10% plus upside just looking for a bounce, irregardless of any news on this. And remember, the CEO picking up a lot of shares. There was a fund that has now picked up 9.9% uh, of the shares. So someone is definitely accumulating this stock. Nice little washout to pick up some more shares here, and we should see this one bounce back tomorrow. A lot of chatter on the electric cars, Telsa, you know, getting a lot of press release, but uh, CNBC was talking up the, you know, you can't have electric cars without charging stations, and these are the charging station players. Uh, this one, again, we got a nice pop on it before. Golden Cross, a couple of days ago, that's when the 50-day moving average crosses up through the 200-day. Very bullish event. Stock has dipped on it. You recall, whenever we have that on the Dow 15-minute chart, we initially see a dip, then a romp. We've got a nice little flag formation on this one. Uh, picking up shares on this, the next break over 70 cents, and this one could really see a very nice upside move to, you know, 78 to 90 cents as a target zone on this with very strong support down here in the low 60s. Uh, got painted in the close like a couple of other stocks, but I sh would expect this one to bounce back nicely tomorrow. Gale, this is one we jumped into the chat room today, uh, 192 very nice volume pop. It actually got the breakthrough, the 193 resistance. Closed pretty strong. I would look to be adding dips on this one. This stock likes to dip early in the day. You know, if it gave one of those 185, 186 dips early on the day, would make for a great entry for a bounce back. Otherwise, uh, barring any sort of bad news, this one could see a move over the next couple of days up here to the 220, 230 zone. Last but not least, quick mention on ABIO. Uh, again, you know, we tagged this one for a very nice 40% move two weeks ago. It has now come back down over the last week. Looks to have found support again around the 50 cent area. Uh, would look for a bounce back up to 65.70. Would make for a very nice bounce support with support uh, or bounce target would support right now at the 50 cent area. So back from vacation, looking to start picking up stocks again. Uh, sold out of a lot of positions. Starting to jump back into things. Market was a little bit slow today, so there was no uh, alerts. But uh, if we do see a continued move upside or continued move to the upside over the next couple of days, should uh, see some very nice chart formation set up. So that's it for the video. If you have any questions, any concerns, any issues, uh, questions on stocks, charts, stocks you want to buy, stocks you're in, either send me an email or send me an instant message in the chat room and I would love answering those questions. So that's it. Have a great night, guys, and see you tomorrow. Bye.